There's no clear definition. There's no clear edges. It just kind of moves. Look at this over here. It moves. There's no clear edges. It doesn't tell you when it's going to stop. I leave it to your imagination. It kind of like, almost like bleeds. And over here, when you go down to the table, when I did this though, it was just flowing. My brush first flowing, and then I add my palette knife strokes, just like that. I was featured in a magazine once, and the publicist asked me how I came to be an artist. I replied, I was born that way. He said, you should be humble. Since then, I have shown and continue to show my art worldwide. I have also been featured in a few publications. It is my belief that happiness can be felt even better. Contentment can be achieved by knowing and doing one's purpose in this world. This task is an insurmountable challenge and it may require a lifetime before it can even happen. But one thing is for sure, one has to know one's strengths, one's talents, and one's weaknesses. Embrace them all with your heart so that you may give back to the world with all your strength. God will provide, the universe will provide, once you have found your true self, your true purpose. It is not about false humility. It is about knowing oneself. It is about purpose, your purpose and my purpose. So, um, I am here in my element at my home which I treat as a gallery. I have all my paintings hung all around. And um, right now I'm gonna talk about my art. Um, what do I have to say? I want to talk about the journey of an artist. Someone asked me once, how long, not even once, many times I've been asked, how long does it take for you to do this painting? A big painting like this, a small painting like this. How long does it take you? And I really don't know how to answer that because the finished product, which is a work of art, is really the result of years, years of living as an artist, years of life's experiences. And you will know and realize as I talk more that this painting is the result of all my experiences, joys, pain, disappointments, thrust on a canvas. So I am known to be a colorist. I am known to be someone who, uh, I'm a palette knife artist. I use the palette knife to express myself. And um, yes, I have very happy colors, but from these happy colors, these happy colors came from a point of darkness years ago. And I will show you and tell you what is the difference of my work from 15 years ago to now. So let's zoom in to an earlier piece of work. So this painting is part of my poppy series from maybe 12 years ago, 15 years ago, one of my earlier work. And actually my family want this painting to stay in the family. It's one of our favorite and um, I was already painting for two years when I did this. And um, it's one of my favorite, as you can see, as I say. And as you will see, there's a lot of thick palette knife strokes. I was just, I just was like that from the beginning. I always loved palette knife. I remember going to Peru and, uh, and there was this woman who did a palette knife painting. And when I saw it, I was just like this. <sighs> I was so filled with emotion and I just knew that I wanted to be a palette knife artist. I wasn't painting then yet, or maybe I was, it was more for a hobby. 
So I am going to move on to a different frame, which is my newer piece of work. But I want to point out, if you will see, this older painting is tighter. By tighter, it means it's a strong palette knife stroke, but it is more confined within its own space. And as we move on to my newer work, you will see that it is not confined. And that is the difference between my older work and my newer work. So let's move on. So um, as you see, there is a lone rose on the table here. And why is it there? I really don't know. I like to be natural. I don't want it to be too steady. And instinctively, I just felt like, hey, I'd like a rose there. It looks like a rose that probably fell from the vase and right now it's on the table. So that's how I did it. And my art teacher would say, it's a painting, you are such in the flow that the paint just falls off your brush. In my case, the paint just falls off my palette knife and it goes on to this rose. Stroke here, stroke there. Muted colors because it is not the start of the painting, but yet it is there. It could even be a painting in itself if you crop this. It is a star of its own, but if you look at it as the big picture from this big painting, it is a subject in the background meant to enhance the whole picture, just like in life. There's a lot of things that happen in our life not all of them are stars, that all of them are drama, but they are meant to enhance our life such that in the end or in your journey to the end, everything is beautiful. There you go. Stroke here, stroke there, palette knife stroke there. So I had said earlier that my earlier piece of work is tighter. And I want to show you with my new piece of work, it is a lot looser. Not tight edges, but look, it is smudged. There's no clear definition. There's no clear edges. It just kind of moves. Look at this over here. It moves. There's no clear edges. It doesn't tell you when it's going to stop. I leave it to your imagination. It kind of like, almost like bleeds. And over here, when you go down to the table, when I did this though, it was just flowing. My brush first flowing, and then I add my palette knife strokes, just like that. And I add colors that are not expected. Do you expect a blue over a pink? No, you don't. But just like Van Gogh, by the way, who paints his face with a green, when you step back, it is part of a whole picture. Do you expect purple in the middle of a poppy? No, you don't. But it is there because that is how I see my world. I want my world to be a surprise. I want you to be surprised. When you look close, there's a pink in the middle of this yellow flower. Is there really a pink in the middle of a poppy? No, there's no pink. Probably there is. It's so muted you won't even notice. But as you step back, it becomes a whole piece and then you will see the big picture. That's what makes it art. And it is my purpose in life to share that with you. And I hope you enjoy traveling with me through my journey. So did you like this talk? Do you love to hear the passion of how an artist travels from 20, 25 years ago to now and what it takes, follow me to my YouTube channel and hear my stories of my journey as an instinctual artist. Instinctual. I paint from the heart. I speak from the heart as I am speaking to you right now.